<laughs> well, you were talking about India. Talk about that 70,000 people house where you took on the great Kali. You, you were on that show too, Mike. I was on that show. Talk it was incredible. Show. Well, I'll tell you right now. Um, there, And I've said this to him before. There was no better person for Cali to bring in to be believable than Peter at that time. And the press conferences and everything, the way it was built out with Cali going to the hospital, there was, he came in, both of us came in as substitutes for two other people. And I'm not going to say who they were, but I, all I'm going to say is that it worked out better for the promotion to have somebody that people actually thought could beat Cali. And um, I was just a guy in the car. I was just a filler. But but Pete and Callie, like, they to have that many people was ridiculous. To have the heat, the old school heat. We used to generate that kind of heat in Puerto Rico, but I hadn't seen it since. And to be able to generate that heat where the 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 media wanted to kill us. They were rioting and wanted to leave. And then to have the fans and then to have to have military guards at the hotel and we weren't allowed to leave. We'd have to be in the back of police trucks to get escorted to the gym and everything like that. It was awesome. Like people would ask me about that. Like, oh, were you nervous? And I was like, if I was probably smarter, I would have been, but I was so caught up in the fact that that we were getting this heat and that was good for business. And they, they were burning my effigy in the streets. Yeah. And it, it, was, was, the it was real, you know? Actually, to be honest with you, the guys burning the effigy in the street were, were just marks. But uh, the average people at the stadium, they, all they knew was I was hurting their hero. And they, they were pelting us with rocks. It was a, a Apollo got hit by a boulder about that big, right in the back of the neck. I don't know how it didn't kill him. <laughs> and then the very next night, it actually might have been the same night. It was the same night, right before, right before that he got hit by the boulder. Somebody reached over the guardrail and popped him. So he pulled the guardrail, snapped the guardrail back, and went back, he went into the crowd, and all you heard was fist hitting flesh and saw people dropping. I was trying to catch up so I could contribute, you know? but it happened so quick, and the next thing you know, everyone's running. You know, then we get back, and we're going up the ramp, and then they came back, and they started pelting rocks at us. It was crazy. I remember to Bones, the referee, Justin King, say, saying uh, we should, we, he was with us, and uh, he said, we should run, man. I said, we're not fucking running. And we just walked slowly up the stairs and taunted her up the up the up the ramp and taunted them, but those are the moments that you've worked your whole career for, and they don't come often. So, and the military had to come down and kind of help people back at the time because they're beating them back with, with, with the sticks. bamboo sticks. So I was sitting in the back and I was watching on the monitor myself and uh, Sean Hernandez and Chris Raber, Bambi Killer, were in the back, and the TV monitor was set on three. Uh, steel rods on the back and I was sitting in the back and I seen them the crowd was swarming around them and I said to the boys I said boys we're going to have to we'll take these steel rods and run out to go down there and help them they're like what are you talking about <laughs> the crowd said what are we going to do I said well we got to go down and get them and as we went to go up to the exit of the side ramp to go down where the thing was the military guys came down and just kind of cut us off and kind of went down to the ramp and they went down and started clubbing people back and I remember they were throwing rocks, and I think they were little like burlap sack things that they were selling peanuts or something, filling them with rocks and sand. And well, I remember that build guns. that 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 arena had just been built. Yeah, they built it for the event, uh, well, partially for the event. It's, it's a cricket, cricket stadium, stadium, but, but they the first had, event they ever. sped up the uh, they sped up the building of it for the for this event, and uh, so there was lots of concrete laying around because it was still under construction. So there's chunks of concrete. And uh, I've been back quite a few times after, and, and we we've, we've had crowds that big since, but it was never the same as this. This was we've had we've had crowds of seventy thousand. We had back to back crowds uh, in the in the Himalayas, right on the right on the border of Nepal, like in you know there'd be seventy five thousand people or whatever, and maybe twenty cars because everybody walked from villages around, but. Uh, it wasn't the same that that night in it was Del Radoon that that we were in that that was that was the most I'll never experience anything like that again because that was real they weren't just it wasn't just people paying to see a wrestling show and remember there were seventy two thousand people in the building there's twenty thousand more outside that couldn't get in At because least. they were full yeah. so there was close to a hundred thousand people that showed up to that event craziness yeah I remember us looking outside and thinking these are the people that can't get in. 
what we would give to get that crowd anywhere else. Yeah. And they didn't they didn't just uh, walk away. They stayed outside the arena because they wanted to be close to the action. And listen. Can you imagine any fan doing that? No. Yeah. Standing outside the arena for five hours. <laughs> yeah. It was one of the longest shows I've ever None of them left. Yeah. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.